Shell dwellers are some of my favorite lake tank and cichlids. I really enjoy their behaviors and how they're always moving around the tank and changing their environment. Given that many shell dwellers breed quite readily, it can be challenging to get these fish out of their shells when taking them to a local club meeting or auction. So today, let's talk about the method I used recently when I took these fish out of their shells to take them to my local auction. So first you're gonna need a five gallon bucket that's filled with tank water. You then also wanna give these fish some hiding spots that you put in the bottom of the bucket. I like to use PVC pipes, and here I'm using three quarter inch couplings, but you can use elbows as well. You could also use a different size. Anything smaller than one inch would work fine. The third thing you'll wanna add is something with some holes in it. I am using a small container, but you can really use anything that has holes large enough for the fish to fit through. So what you'll wanna do at this point is suspend the container with the holes in it on the top of the bucket. So the idea here is that shell dwellers prefer to be on the bottom of the container. So once they're suspended on the top, they'll leave their shells, swim to the bottom of the container and find new hiding places within the PVC pipes. So let's now go ahead and catch some shell dwellers out of the tank and go ahead and put them in our container and see what happens. You know, since we're doing this for demonstration purposes, I gave this about 20 minutes or so. Um, if I were bagging fish for an auction or something, I'd actually give this about an hour, maybe two. So let's go ahead and take the shells out and see what we found. So before I net any fish out, I am gonna remove the container as well as dump out any PVC pipes. So as you can see here, uh, we did get one fish. Um, obviously if I was looking to get multiple fish, I would go ahead and catch some more shells out and repeat the process. So that's how I get the shell dwellers out of their shells. So I hope you found this video useful. I really do hope you enjoyed it and found something valuable uh, that you can use in your aquarium hobby. Uh, so that being said, stay safe, stay fishy, and I'll catch you on the next video.